Loneliness, part two. You wanted to see me? Hi. Let's go for a walk. Gilya, I'm sorry, I don't have any time. Well, at least let's step away. Okay. Violetta and I have been looking for you. Thankfully, Kostya told us. Why aren't you answering the phone? I'm waiting to hear from Sergei. When I was looking for you, I went to see his mother. She's very sick. If you still care at all. What's wrong with her? She can't move her legs. She had a nervous breakdown. She's in a wheelchair now. I'll go see her. I'll look after her. <laughs> oh. If it isn't my dear old friend. Let go. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Let's show. hurry up and bring us some vodka. And hurry up, hurry up. Well, we don't need salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> hey, waitress, maybe you'll give me a wipe down, huh? <laughs> I'm okay, thanks. Nah, she's not like that. Don't, don't even try. Why are you so moody? Come here, I'll help you relax now, huh? <laughs> oh, what the hell? Listen, chick, you show me some respect, huh? Who do you think you are? <laughs> hey, who the hell are you? Let's go outside and I'll show you exactly who I am. Uh, let's go. Come here. Costia, let's go. Wait, well, let's go. Take hurt. it out. What the hell is this? Protector, my ass. Come on. What's the matter? Come here. Get over here, quick. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. That was just like we rehearsed it. Now you guys can go to another cafe. But next meal's on me. She's pretty cute. Forget it. We clear? All right. Give me the cash. Yeah. Here you go. Hey, wait. What about? Later, later. Let's go. <sighs> Volod, come here. Punch me as if it had been real. Wait, what? All you have to do is just hit me in the face. For real? Yeah, just do it. You didn't have to go straight for the nose, I'm man. sorry. Okay, get out of here before someone sees you. Come on. Kostya! Hey, get out of here and make sure I never see you around here again! Hey, screw you! Kostya. Don't worry, those guys won't bother tissues. you again. Bastards. Thank you. Come on, I'll get you cleaned up. No, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. But if you really want to help me, you should leave this place. It's not for you. Yeah, I know. I do need to look for another place right now, but it's just that I have nowhere else to go. Let's take a walk when you're finished. Kostya, I'm sorry, but I have somewhere else to go today. Well, then I'll take you there. Okay. See you in the evening, then? See you. <sighs> right in the nose. Stay here, I'll open the door for you. Hold on. Here you go. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you. Mm hmm It's open. Oh, it's you. Ludmila, how are you? What do you want? I heard that you... Ah. Here she is. Can I come in? Is there anything that I can help you with? I don't need anything from you. But I have to be here. I I want to be here with you. I know that my Sergei would want us to wait for him together. My Sergei. Sergei, you killed Sergei. And now you want to kill me. I know. Okay. You murderer. You killed my Sergei. Get out of here. Don't close the door. Social workers are coming by. Witch. You're a witch. Witch. My Sergei. 
What's wrong? Uh, what? Uh, what is it? My belly, it hurts so much. We're going to the hospital. My belly, it come hurts. On. Okay, come on, uh, careful. Uh, careful, careful. Uh, Sit down, watch your head. Uh, Be careful. Okay, get in there. Okay, just a minute. Tell me, is the baby okay? Everything's fine. Fetal development is right on track. It looks good. What about me? You have hypertonicity. We'll alleviate the spasms, but you should be careful. No stress and no physical labor. And my job? When can I go back to work? What work? Just rest. Think about yourself and your baby. Doctor, they need you. I'm coming. Please rest. Hello? Hey, how You were are asking you? for me? Yes. Yeah, I'm here for Arena. How is she? Well, thankfully she's okay now. She was dressed out and a little anxious. And? What should we do about it? Well, for now, she'll stay here and rest. And then, no stress, no physical labor, just rest. Well, preferably no sexual activity. You want a healthy son, right? Ah, yeah, of course. Well, we'll increase her hemoglobin levels. Can I see her? It's too late now. Let's do this. Tomorrow you're coming for the prescription anyway. You'll visit her then. Okay. How much do I owe no, you? No, 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 nothing. Good luck. You too. Thank you. Ah, hello, it's me. I'm here to visit you. I stopped by your ward, but the girl said you were here. Arena, these are for you. But not as a patient, as a sign of let's not fight anymore. I agree. Did Kostya say that I was here? Of course, who else? So worried about you. He came to talk to me bright and early. Oh, I brought you these. Some fruits and there's juice. You'll see for yourself. Oh, and this is a little gift I got for you. It's called an anti-stress toy. You fiddle with it and you know it helps calm you down. <sighs> so how are you? What are you going to do next? Wait, as always. Well, that's obvious. Uh, where will you live? And how? The doctor said they can't keep you here for very long. I don't know yet. I'll think of something. You know, I, I'd invite you to stay with me, of course, but my relatives are visiting right now. And yeah, um, I saw Gayla recently. You know, she got a new roommate. Kostya says he'll be happy to put you up. Yeah. And what will Sergei think? 
What's there to think about? Kostya is like a brother to you. The two of you are like, you're like relatives helping each other. And what will you tell Sergei if, God forbid, you lose the baby? God forbid. Still, I don't think it's the right thing to do. What's not right? Kostya understands everything, that you're in love, that you're waiting. He simply wants to help. Of course, you should think about it. Don't rush. Uh, but you should be thinking about the baby and not yourself. He is the most important person for you. Arena, promise me you'll consider it. I promise. Arena. How are you? Here, I'll take your back. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Flowers for the princess. <laughs> More like Cinderella. <laughs> well, where should I take this Cinderella? Well, to the same place, at the cafe. No point there. They've already rented out the room, found a new Cinderella. Well, what'd you expect? Someone had to clean the cafe while you were in the hospital. <sighs> Let's go to my place. No, Kostya, I'm sorry. Just think about it. Well, you can stay for a couple days. If you don't like it, I'll lend you the money for another flat. But while you're looking for one, you'll have a roof over your head. And uh, my things? And your things have already been delivered. Irina, I've known you for a long time. We're almost relatives, like brother and sister. It's only right that we help each other. And I'll explain everything to your Sergei. Okay? All right, Kostya. All right, that's great. Just for the time of being. Of course, for a while, a little while. Have a seat, let's go. Right this way. Balkan, hey, what are you barking about like an old lady at the market? Oh, interesting. No, Balkan. This game has long gone bad. Except maybe. All right. A wallet. Very nice. Ah, the ring is pretty, too. Marina. Vulcan, look at that. Both feet in the grave, he's thinking about some chick. Fine. I'll pay for the wallet. We're not that far away. We'll see what happens. What are you looking at? Help me! Well, here's my lair. Come on in. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's nice. Make yourself at home. Here's some slippers if you want. Oh no, thank you. I'm okay. Well, as you wish. May I? Uh-huh. Of course. Okay, thank you. Let me show you the rest of the place. Right this way. Here we are. And here's the kitchen. You can use whatever you want. There's a fridge full of food. In the bathroom, there's some shampoo and conditioner and balm, a towel, well, everything you can need. You're prepared? Yeah, I'm like that. Come on, I'll show you the bedroom. Over here. This way. This is the biggest and best room in the house. Here is an HD TV, a bed. Here, give me the flowers. I'll put them in the vase. My clothes? Yeah, I promised you. 
Ah, would you like to go out into the balcony? The view is stunning. No, Kostya, I'm sorry. I'm tired. Can you show me my room? I think I'm going to go lie down. Well, this is your room. Do you like it? I do. If you need anything, just say it and it'll be here. I won't disturb you. Make yourself comfortable. I'm going to get out of here. All right? Thank you, Kostya. No problem. See Casanova. Oh, this doesn't look good. It looks infected. I guess you really needed to get somewhere. If you crawl like this, it's all right. We'll do what we can. First, we'll disinfect with some vodka. It'll be beautiful. And then, it'll be up to... what God decides. Vulcan? Come take a swig. What a day today. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Aren't you my sleeping beauty? Been waiting to have breakfast with you. Have a seat. Oh, I don't know what time it is. I've been so sleepy lately. Must be because of the baby. Looking at you, no one would say. You look amazing. Come on. Stop it. <laughs> oh, let me make a sandwich for you. That sounds great. Arena, is everything okay? What? Well, sausage with jam, do you think they go well together? Sorry, I'll make you another one. Nah, it's okay, give it here. Mmm, you know what, it's tasty. New recipe. Really good, actually. I'm gonna go to work now. Got lots of things to do. I want to buy a new car wash. I'm expanding the business. To put it bluntly, after a little while, we'll hire a housekeeper. Then we won't have to do any housework at all. <laughs> and in the evening, you can go to the movies. No, it's all right. I'll just stay at home. Okay? What are you going to do then? Wait for Sergey. All right. Hello? Yeah, I'm coming. Thank you. See you tonight. Arena? Oh, it's so good that you came. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Why are you standing there? Come on in. The door's open. 
Violetta, uh, are your relatives still here? Oh, no. They've already moved out, yeah. <laughs> Is everything all right? Mm -mm. Okay, I see. Well, let's go make some tea and we'll discuss everything. <sighs> What's going on? Well, the thing is, I've seen the way he looks at me, Kostya. He might say that we're friends, but this is wrong. Is he treating you badly? No, quite the opposite. Well? I can feel that. He wants more from me than what I am able to provide him with. What if- Please don't. I can't. I'll let her listen to me. You know that I can't betray Sergei. I'll be waiting for him forever. Well then, if it's so complicated, move in with me. Have some tea. Thank you. I'm expecting you tomorrow. Kostya, not even a toast? I mean, come on. Uh, what should we toast to? To love, of course. Ha! That's even better. <laughs> love isn't worth toasting to. <laughs> Didn't work out? With who? Who do you think? Your new tenant. When are you going to introduce us to your new girl? It's none of your business. She's got a cut now. Parties aren't for her anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, just feeding her fruits while she's waiting for a dead man to come back to life. Shut up, both of you. Look, we're not strangers, man. I honestly don't understand you, bro. The chick is pregnant with another man's baby. Twisting you around her finger. Yeah, you're jumping around her like a puppy. Seriously, we're just looking out. Kostya, what are you doing here? Kostya, come on. Kostya. Kostya. When you know me better, you'll forget him. I'll show you what a real man's like. <laughs> You're not going anywhere, you understand? I've had enough of it. I've had enough. I'll beat that attitude and that little bastard out of you. How many times do I have to tell you, huh? You see this guy right here? He's dead! Do you hear me? He's dead! You're not going anywhere away from me anymore. You understand? You're not going anywhere! You're not going anywhere! Stop it! Stop it! Where are you going? Just go, just go, let's get okay, out of here. Go, 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 go. Wait, Arena. Stop! Here, drink some hot tea. What a bastard. And I believed in him and all his lies. Now he showed his true colors. I knew that I shouldn't have gone there in the first place. Well. How are you? Does it hurt anywhere? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow morning, we'll go to the police. We'll no. file a claim. No, and, we uh, shouldn't. We shouldn't. I just want to forget, and... Uh, what am I supposed to do now? What do you do? You're staying with me. 
And when you have the baby, you'll also stay with me. That's it. Well, unless Sergei comes back, of course. Yes, go back to college, get a new passport. Oh, and I know you'll work at the orphanage. I'll help arrange it. Whatever you need. A young mom needs money. Very much so. One moment. You know, I wanted to find my mother. So I wrote her a letter. I lost it somewhere. And then, and then I thought, it must have been fate. I should have told you sooner, but the letter you are talking about, you lost at my place, and I found it. I'm sorry, but I read it. I wanted to help you, so I decided to send it for you. Here you go. Read the answer. With regard to your request, we inform you that Ulyana Nikolaevna was receiving mandatory medical treatment from March 16th to April 2nd, 2014, at the recovery center. Unfortunately, we regret to inform you that she left the medical center without permission. As of now, her whereabouts remain unknown. There's nothing good that can come from this letter, Arena. Hold on, I'll give you your pills. I'll, I'll go there. To where? Where do you think? To go find my mother. What are you talking about? For all we know, she might have died by now. I know, but I need to go there. What do you mean, need? I can feel it. Can I borrow some money for the trip? Yes, I'll lend you the money. But how are you going to go? All alone? I am... not alone. Your face looks so familiar to me. Oh. It's you. Uh, Arina. Yeah. Oh, it's you. From the post office, right? So why are you here? I'm going to visit my sisters. It's not that far away. I often think of you. You helped me so much. I knew that we would see each other. Wait. I was saving this for when I see you again. No, no, I can't take it. Take no, it. no, no, you keep it. N take no, it. No, no, take no, 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 seriously, it was from the heart, so you keep it. I would rather hear about how you're doing. Well, my dear, I hope you won't say no to homemade pastries. Homemade? No, I won't. <laughs> Quiet. Quiet, Vulcan. Quiet. Water. Water. Hello there, stranger. Water. Hold on, hold on. that you need to memorize my face. Where am I? In the woods? You're our unexpected guest. Right, Polkin? <coughs> oh, uninvited, by the way. How did I get here? I brought you. You were lying in the bushes. I thought you were dead. But you weren't. Why here? Why not the hospital? The hospital is too far, and I don't have a car. Nope. Bolton and I don't like being in the public eye. I, I had a phone on me. I burned all your clothes. They smelled. 
Bad. I need to make a call. Yes, of course, I have. A phone, a fax, and the other one. Xerox, or whatever it's called. Let me... I told you, we're in the woods, off the grid. I have to go. What? <sighs> yeah. You are a stubborn one. Excuse me, did you see an old lady? Yes, I think she got off an hour ago. So weird. How much is your current? Oh, not much. Everything's grown with my own hands in my own garden. Thank you. Are you visiting? Visiting. And what brought you to our little town? I just have some business here. Ah, for how long? I don't know yet. Where are you going to stay? Hello. I'm not sure yet. I can rent you a room. I live alone. How much is it? We'll make a deal. Clove. Ah! Clove. Hello. Uh, oh, go away! Go, Shh. go! Don't scare off my customers! Go away! Go away go from here! Clough, can you, well, help me for ice cream, eh? Oh, well, I know your ice cream of 80 proof. There you go, here. Oh, thank you, Clough. Well, if you need anything, just say so. We can help. It's not a problem to help a good person. God bless you, huh? Oh, Yanka, Yanka. I feel sorry for her. You call her that as if she's still a little girl. Well, everyone calls her that, because nobody knows her real name. Here you go. Now you have my address. My name's Klavdia. I'm Irina. Nice to meet you. Where are you heading? Not sure. I'll go for a walk in the city. Well, then leave your things here. Why carry them around with you? Leave my things? Well, yes. I'll help to carry them home. <laughs> Well, okay. I'll come by in the evening. Is it far from here? No, it's about 15 minutes. Wait just a second. Here, take some berries. Go on, go on. It's free. Thank you. She's an odd one. Well, it looks like I found your Zolotova. It took a little bit of digging on my part, but lucky for you, I'm good at my job. The house burnt down, suspected cause, passing out drunk while smoking in bed. Miss, can you please leave the globe alone? I'm sorry. Uh, do you know where she is now? How would I know? She might have passed away already. That's my mother. Um, maybe there's more information about what happened to her? There is. Do you want me to print it out? Uh-huh. No problem. Miss, please stop fiddling with the globe. Sorry. Well, here. The first time she got in trouble was for vagrancy and petty theft. And in 2014, she was treated for alcoholism. But after a short while, she voluntarily left the medical facility. You can also see her diagnosis, chronic alcoholism and liver cirrhosis. Um, by any chance, is there another picture? Maybe a more recent one? Listen, miss, we are not a photo gallery here. Do you have any other questions? Mm-mm. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello, Claudia. Claudia, I'm here. It's me. Here, here, come in. You found me, my girl. 
Come on in, sweetheart. Come into the house. Come on. <laughs> it's so nice here. Yes. Well, come in. Your room <laughs> is ready. Your stuff is already here. Let's have some dinner. You must be starving. Listen, Balkan. Balkan! When are you finally going to start speaking like a human? It's always woof, 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 woof. Want some? Oh, that's right, it's bad. But I'll take a swig. What do we do with him? Always in a hurry. He has to go somewhere. He'll leave. He'll rat on me. Maybe I should... What's that? Okay, 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 okay. Tomorrow, we'll see. You see, it's a good thing we've agreed. <laughs> Otherwise, I get so lonely here all by myself. My daughter left 15 years ago to go to Moscow, and she forgot all about me. Are your parents still alive? Well, I... Why are you pushing your food around, huh? Everything's homegrown and natural. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hard, of course. My legs get tired. I'm strong enough to work in the garden, but to stand behind the counter on the market... Um... Well, what if you hired me? I'll work in the market for you. Do you have a passport? No, I lost my passport, but I do have an ID. Ah, well, let me see. Ah, Zolotova Arena. Lost passport verification. Hmm. Do you have to go far to get a new passport? No, I'll just get a new one while I'm here. Ah, uh, <laughs> everything is quick and easy nowadays. Okay, then. Tomorrow you go to the market with me. <laughs> Did you say you have some other business here as well? Yeah, business, personal. Oh, Claudia, thank you so much. Everything was so delicious, but I'm already full. Thank you. Why are you alone, though? Well, I'm not alone, Klavdia. I am not alone. Hey, beautiful. Where's Clava? Did she retire? Hello. Uh, no, I'm just filling in for her today. My name's Arena. Nice to meet you. I'm Mahmoud. This is Layla. Hey, did you get up on the wrong side of the bed? You don't know what side of the bed I got up on, do you? Okay, tell everyone I know what side of the bed you got up on. Why does she need to know there's something going on here? How about for once in your life you do your job? Listen, woman, it's not the woman's day today. Mahmoud, shut up. Hmm. I see that you have never worked in a market in your life, have you? Well, it's my first time behind the counter. All right, don't worry. We can help you out, if anything. Do you know what the first rule of the trade is? 40 and 40 makes a ruble and 40. I can Will get you, you some matches, too. Will you please be quiet, Mahmoud? <laughs> the bus is almost here. Customers are coming. Layla. Layla. For some bread? Can you help me out, huh? 
<sighs> Sorry, I don't have any. <sighs> Hold on, wait. I have no bread, but take this. <sighs> you can buy what you need. Oh, sweetheart, thank you. Oh, you're such a savior. And I wish you lots of healthy kids and a loving husband. All right, Yanka, get out of here. Don't scare people off. Uh, 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 thank you so much. Lukum, Lukum, go. Okay, ladies, people are coming out now. Smile, please. Apples here! Apples from the garden! A delight for every mouth! How did I get myself into this? Huh? Uh, oh, brother. Yeah, you have a fever. One that could light a cigarette. All right, here we go. Come on, stranger. Enjoy it, thank you. Have a nice day. <gasps> What's wrong? I think that the baby's kicking. Are you pregnant, Arena? Yeah. Shh. If you need help with anything, just ask me, okay? Because I also have a son of my own. Thank you, Layla. Mm. Arena! The food's almost ready. Listen, you have a talent. If things continue this way, we'll be millionaires. Well, it's because of your <laughs> apples, and no one can stay away from yes, them. Yes, my apples are special. No one grows them better. <laughs> so tell me, what are your plans for the future? Do you mean how long I plan to stay here? Well, yes. Well, I'll stay until you ask me to leave. I have a job, and... Some things to do. The other day you said that you weren't alone. Claudia. I have a fiancé. The food's boiling. One tough cookie, this one. Can't get anything out of her. Vulcan, what are you barking for, huh? I've seen this before. In the hospital, it's gangrene. He won't survive. You want me to wait till he dies? It's time for him to meet his archangel. It's over. We don't have any other option. Well, let's make it quick. Arena. Sergey! Claudio, what... What happened? You were screaming, so I rushed right over. Just a bad dream. Would you like a drink of water? No, thank you. I'm fine. What did you dream about? I know how to read dreams. Some stuff. Mm. Well, go back to sleep. I'm right here, nearby. Mm-hmm. Wish I could see her one more time. One more. Stubborn. Polkan, just like me. If the third attempt had failed, I'd have been dead by now, too. Look after him.
Well, Lena, who are you checking out? <sighs> Look, Soya, if I check out or I don't check out, it's all the same. Every day is the same around here, Dullsville. You're only bored because you're not married. My Kolya doesn't let me get bored. Your Kolya is a redneck, Zoya. Well, the best guy in the country is better than the worst one in the city. <laughs> Zoya, do you think I mind? I don't mind, but there's nobody here. You are too picky, you know, waiting for your perfect prince. Look at Vitya! Why can't he be a prince? Vitya. Prince or no prince, I would never want to be with such a deadbeat. Soya, hmm? What is with this white car? I've never seen it before. Lena, Soya, get over here quickly! Vitya, we can't, we're working, okay? Listen, let's go take a look. Hurry let's up! Let's go. He won't even let me finish my shift. Vitya, why'd you call us? Yeah, why are you yelling? Well, check it out. I just found him like this. Jesus Christ, how did he get here? Well, obviously he didn't get here by himself. Well, what are you waiting for? Go get Pasha and bring the stretcher. Ah, uh, for sure. Vitya, should I carry the bags by myself? <laughs> My bad. Bastard, move it. Idiot. Yeah, there goes your homegrown prince on his white horse. Hmm? What? No, no, nothing. Vitya, what took so long? All of his clothes were disposed of. He's completely naked. Okay, now let's check his arms in case he's a drug addict. Uh-huh. Wait, what's oh, this? A I ring? I didn't even notice he had that. For the inventory. Well, okay, let's get him shaved. Uh, here are the test results for the new patient. Mmm. I went to visit him, and without the beard, he's quite good-looking, actually. Yeah. What time is it? Shouldn't you be getting to the seventh ward? I think Mitrovanova is uh, waiting for her IV. <gasps> it's time. I'm out. Uh, look, I, uh, have a question for you. What are you doing tonight? Why? Well, do you have any plans? Because my Vasily has come out of the blue, finally. That Vasily guy again? Sounds like you need someone to cover you tonight. Oh. I really need it. I'm begging you. Anya, but I can't cover you tonight. I need to drop off the medicine for my uncle. I'll be here in the evening. I need the night. Nothing personal. We're just going to the movies. The movies. Discuss it with Preskov, okay? Of course. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. Go, go. Get out of here. Yes? Dr. Rodionovic, I brought you some test results. Well, from the patient we found unconscious in the car. Mm-hmm. That's great. Give them to me. Anything else? Mm-hmm. Dr. Rodionovic, uh, what's the patient's prognosis? The lucky passenger. Uh-huh. Serious. Very malnourished. Coma. Serious head trauma. Clearly hematoma. Hmm. Well, we'll try to remove it with some therapy, but the leg is bad. There's gangrene. Most likely, we'll have to amputate. Well, what a pity he's still so young. Lena, pity is not a medical term. Mm. I'll try, of course, to be conservative, but we really cannot wait more than a day or two maximum. Mm -hmm. Listen, we need to notify the police about him Good lord, where did I put my phone again? Come Dr. on, dial Dr. Rodionovic, me. you have so much on your plate. My uncle works for the police. I can relay all of this information to him. Oh, that's... That's perfect. Well, then describe all this to him. I do have yes, a lot yes, of things I'll to do go here. Then. Go on. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Go on. Go. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> it's no problem. If it hadn't been for the pills, you wouldn't have come. Forgot the old man completely. You don't even have time to visit me. But see, at least I came to the office to see you. Uh, you don't say. At least I can grab some fresh air. I am so sick of these papers. Anyway, how's everything with you? Well, I'm fine, Uncle. Fine. 
From home to work, from work to home, working the night shift tonight, no free time at all. You're always on the run. You need some rest too, honey. Uncle, as soon as I find someone, I'll immediately relax, don't worry. <laughs> Still waiting on your prince. Okay, okay, enough. I heard about your car theft. Or rather, your, uh, your car gift. Well... <laughs> Interesting story. Did they find the owner of the car? Yeah, one man from Vostrykovo. Can you imagine? He didn't even know it was hijacked. He thought he left it somewhere. How drunk do you have to be in order to just... <sighs> well, he picked up the car. Didn't even file a claim. Uh, listen, well, someone had to drive him there, right? Well, that, dear. We're going to have to ask of your lucky passenger. That will be impossible. <laughs> Why because is that? he's in a deep coma, Uncle. Ah, uh, I almost forgot. Prusikov asked you to send someone from your office when you get a chance. Someone should come take a statement. Why, did you find something on him? No, nothing at all. No documents, no clothes, like he fell from the moon. Well, from the moon, or Mars, we'll figure it out. Mm. I gotta go to the mayor with this report. I can't today, I'm not sure about tomorrow, but listen. Dear, what if I email you the faces of those who are missing or or wanted? You'll see if he's among them. If he is, you'll let me know. Yes, of course, Uncle. No problem. All right, then. <laughs> well, if he's in a coma, then he can't uh, <laughs> cause any trouble. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> All right, come here. I've got to go. Okay, see you. Bye, thank you. Bye. I'll see you later. Good luck. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Случается рано ли, поздно ли Там, где палатки у сопок подножия Гляжу осторожно я на тебя лишь одно Там, где на карте сойдутся две За твои синие, синие Там у костра мы в обнимку с гитарою Эту песенку старую Лишь тебе я пою А минуты мчатся словно поезда Почему-то За твои синие Там, где все небо усеяно звездами Там все случается рано ли поздно ли Сойдутся две линии Там, где глаза твои синие, синие Там, у костра мы в обнимку с Гелья, how have you been? How are you? Long time no see. Hello, Mrs. Violetta. Well, everything's fine, I think. How are things at the dorm? All good? Oh, I don't live there anymore. Really? I'm renting. How's Arena doing? Oh, our Arena's doing well. She sent me a photo. Here, I'll show you. Look, here's Arena. Here she is. Oh. oh she looks great. <sighs> How far along? Oh, she's far along. Nine months, so very soon. <laughs> Amazing. How does she like it there? Well, she's doing well. She has lots of fresh air, organic food. Not bad, huh? Well, yeah. 
Is she coming back when she has the baby? Well, I think so. I'm going to visit her soon. We'll discuss everything with her. Oh yeah, I tried to call her recently, but no luck. It's because she changed her number after Kostya broke her phone, and when she calls me, she always asks about Sergey if there's been any news. Look who's here. It's Violetta. Hi, baby. <laughs> Good luck to both of you. Goodbye. I'll call you. You hungry? Mm, starving. Let's go to the cafe. We got a table. <gasps> really? Well, tell me about your vacation. Can you really get rest with these people? Wait, again? Listen, I sat by your patient. Well, I couldn't believe my eyes. Yeah, doing our best. <laughs> well, I saw him before I left for the holidays. He was kind of good looking. And now he looks like a prince. Zoya, so, yeah, well, he's still far from a prince. The main thing is that his leg was saved thanks to Prusikov. Everything else is a matter of time, you know? Treatment and care and massages. I'm giving him massages every day so his muscles don't atrophy. What does Prusikov think? He says that the recent results are good and that there's an obvious positive trend. He's making progress and his condition is stable. Well, fingers crossed. Maybe he'll even remember his name when he gains consciousness. Ah, uh, whether he'll remember anything is still unclear. Well, maybe it's better if he doesn't remember. Then he'll wake up and see you, such a beauty, and that's it. <laughs> what do you mean, that's it? Drink your tea before it gets cold. Have a cookie. Lena, well, uh, am I getting an enema today or not? Even of, don't you see? I'm drinking tea. Hold on. <sighs> onions, onions, get your onions fresh from the garden. Don't be shy. We've got great deals this spring. Arena, why are you always on your feet? Always up. You see, there are no customers. Sit down, relax. If you want, I can bring you a stool. No, Mahmood, thanks. Everything's fine. Ugh, Mahmood, don't fuss. She's young, healthy, and you know, pregnancy is not a disease last time I checked. Do you want me to bring you a stool? So you think I'm old, yeah? Or am I pregnant? Oh, God forbid. What? You don't want kids with me? Got up on the wrong side of the bed again? I got up on the right side. Oh, women. You know, if it wasn't for fooling around, I wouldn't have anything to do with any of you. Mm -hmm. Let's chat. Layla, well, enough of that, eh? Uh, not again, please. Arena. Yanka, where have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. I was sick. <laughs> I missed you, my darling. <gasps> oh! What's wrong? I must have eaten something. Oh. <sighs> Arena. Arena. Excuse me. Doctor, tell me, what's wrong with her? She has last stage of liver cirrhosis, terrible body toxicity levels. She has a few days to live, maybe, even a few hours. Well, you're gonna go take her to the hospital, aren't no, you? No, I don't see a good enough reason to ruin their good records. <sighs> Doctor, I beg you, please help her out. <sighs> What's your name? Uliana Nikolavna Zolotova. Okay, quiet, 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 quiet. You're in a hospital. It's all right. You're in a coma. You just woke up. Do you remember your name? Sergey. Sergey, that's very good. My name is Lena. Arena. No, no, not Arena. Lena! Arena. There's no Arena here. You're in shock. Please lie down. You need to rest. I want to make a phone call. I understand. The doctor's coming. If he authorizes it, I'll give you the phone. Please try to calm down. You're in shock. You need to rest. Where's my ring? What ring? You didn't have a ring. Listen to me, you. You are delirious and you need to rest. I beg you, try and breathe deeply. Doctor! You'll help her in the hospital, right? Understand that we'll bring her to the hospital, but mm -mm. like here, medicine is powerless, as they say. They'll put her in the hallway, and no one will even notice. Well, I'm not going to any hospital. Doctor, can you help me take her somewhere else? <sighs> Please. I'll pay you. Oi. 
Oh, oi. What? What happened? Who did you bring to my house? Glavdia, look. I found my mother. But it's Yenka. Good heavens. And how do you know she's your mother? She told me her name, Mulyana Nikolaevna. Like from the letter, you see? It all makes sense. She's sick. She won't go to the hospital, and they say they won't help her. Klavde, can she stay here with us? Just for a little bit. Thank you. Oh. What? Oh. 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 Sit up a bit. Ah. Oh, it's you. You're like an angel. Or something. No one ever helped me like this. Mm-mm. Long ago. I was like everyone else a while ago. I had a husband. A baby. He left me. For good. Well, I was so upset. I was lost. I don't know. I didn't really notice how it all started. And it all went downhill. <laughs> Drinking and partying. Riff-raff. That's just like me. A house. I had a house. It burned down. And the baby? A daughter. Irina. Oh, she was so beautiful, you know. Like a doll. Oh. <laughs> they took her away to that orphanage. I started drinking even more. That's all. I never saw her again. Then the husband came back, wanted to take her. Mm -mm. He was stabbed with a knife in a fight because of me. <laughs> what? You're a pure soul, like my sweet little baby. You know what songs I sang to her? Mm, hold on. Bayou, bayou, ski, little one. Not a day goes by, little dove. Yeah, what a story. Well, I'll record the information received, and we'll inform your place of residence and work, and we'll send a request for new documents. Good morning. Hello, Lena. Uncle, what are you doing here? I was just about to call you. Prusikov already called me. I have one more question for you. Uh, uh, so, uh, so, when you were, um, when you were in the woods, you... Maybe you saw someone, or, um, interacted with someone? I don't remember anyone. I see. Okay. Well, this is just in case you remember. Take a look. Maybe you saw someone and recognize, you know, try to remember. No. Okay, thank you. Uncle, I think he needs to rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the last question, off the record though. When you um were in the cave, how did you all alone? I wasn't alone. As my friend used to say, my best friend, 
First you learn to talk to yourself. Then with the stalactites, you don't notice how the stalactites start to answer you and you start to care about what they're saying. We'll get well soon. Should I inform your loved ones or maybe you want to do it? Thank you. Lena said she'll do it. Lena. Well, if Lena promised she'll do it. All right. Goodbye now. Take care. Hmm. Lena. Yes? Could you give me the phone? Luli Lu, you are a nightingale, a gray head. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the words. I just remember the melody. Irina. My baby. <laughs> but how? Mommy. I came here to look for you and I found you. Mom, I found you. But the name. The name, I don't know. Probably a mistake. It doesn't matter. <laughs> God, how late it is. It's too late, it's too late. You'll be a grandmother soon. Irina? Oh, it's too late. I found you too late, Irina. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, Irina. Sorry, the mobile number is temporarily blocked. Hello? Hello? Mom? Who is this? Hello, Mom. It's me. Sergey. Sergey? My son? How are you? Me? <sighs> I'm fine. Son, how are you feeling? Where are you? When, when are you coming back? I'm in the hospital, Mom. Recovering. I'll be back soon. Sergey, you... Mom. <laughs> don't cry. Sergey! Mom, I need your help to get through to Arena. Is she there? Give her the phone. Arena? No. She's gone. What do you mean? Where? You need to ask your friends. I'll call you back. Sergey. Honey. Sergey. My son. She knew. She knew all this time. Oh my god. She knew. Dear god, what have I done? But I know, Mom, Sergei is alive. No one believes me, but I know he's alive. Irina, you should listen to your heart. It doesn't lie. You should go there, sweetie. Where, Mom? To the caves? You need to go there, I know. I don't understand. Soon enough, honey. You'll understand. Irina? Sweetie? Mom?
मामी At least, we buried your mother properly. A nice spot to dry. What's the difference? She's not here anymore. Oh, don't say that. It's important. She's not buried in a common grave, but under her own name. Come on in. It's open. Uh-huh. Oh. Phew. Arena, hello. Why do you look like someone died? That's great. The exercises. <laughs> so, your knee is almost bending. Let me see. Lena, about what I asked you while I was in physical therapy, were you able to find anything out? Of course, of course, but unfortunately, I don't have any good news for you. I called the dorm, but they told me that, unfortunately, Galena doesn't live there anymore. I called the orphanage, but the manager left already, and they wouldn't give me her cell phone number. It's all so strange. Mm -hmm. uh, what about your friends? My friends said Arena left. But they don't know where. That's too bad. They're going to pick me up. Pick you up? Uh, but when? Well, not as soon as I would like. When my leg heals. Lena? Hmm? You are needed in the fourth ward. I'm coming. <laughs> well, if I'm needed, <laughs> I should go. You keep going. You're doing very well. Really positive dynamics. And I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Lena? Hmm? I'm sorry. Oh, no problem. No problem. It's all right. I'm grateful. Thank you so much. You're doing a lot for me. Oh, don't mention it, Sergei. I mean, after all, you are my beloved... <laughs> my beloved patient is what I meant to say. I'll go. You go on with your exercises. You're doing very, very well. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Arena, this is a big deal. You found your mother, and you buried her properly. Well, now your task is to give birth to your baby. Hmm. Now let's go home. As they say, there's no place like home. Huh? And what, this is not her home? I will help her with the baby. Our hospital here is good. Now look here, you are a trustworthy woman, but Arena isn't going anywhere. That's right. And if necessary, Layla and I will help at the market. She gives her condolences, she got sick and couldn't make it. Arena, why are you so quiet? The girls threw you a baby shower, there's a stroller, there's a bath, and we've decided you're going to live with me. Thank you all, but... But before that, I need... I need to go where Sergei is. In the caves. That's enough. You're almost due. Stop running around. Hey, I told you she's not going anywhere. Don't even think about it. I just know that I need to go there. Mom said I should listen to my heart. Arena, dear, I won't hold you back. Because when a heart is as pure as yours, it's not possible for it to betray you. Just know that part of your money is there, in the drawer, in the envelope. Will you stop? Why are you humoring her? What? Well, it's dangerous. I mean, what is the point? You know, 
I had exactly the same feeling when I first met Sergei. I need to go. There, see, she knows what she needs. No, stop right there, wait a minute. You know that this way we're not gonna get anywhere. How about this, we sleep on it. Hmm. So Yanka. Well, I have two pieces of good news for you. The first is that you're being transferred to trauma care, and second is today you're gonna learn how to walk. To actually walk? Mm-hmm. Here are the crutches. Well, let's give it a try. Be careful. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Just don't push yourself, okay? Okay, Lena. Uh-huh. Does it hurt? No, it's okay. I can help you. Thank you, just a second. Uh-huh. Yeah. There you are. Almost. It's as yeah, if you've I'm done it standing. before. Yeah, go slowly. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> uh. <sighs> You shouldn't have done that. Don't waste your time on me. You've helped me so much, but I'm a one-woman man. <sighs> Well, here we are. Already? Where are the caves? No, we can't get any closer to the caves. The place is bad karma. About half a year ago, some people got trapped. No one was found. Well, you already told me this, but... Maybe there's still a way that you can drive me a bit closer? What do you mean closer? I'm telling you. There was a rock fall there. You have to walk. By the way, you got an interesting job. For a pregnant girl. I told you already, I'm a journalist and... We don't get to choose where we go, we... We just follow the story until the end. <laughs> just like us. We don't choose the route either, we just go where we're told. Especially if the pay is good. Life of a cab driver. Well, if you really need it, I can walk with you. I do. I really do. Let's go then. Overall, the country's beautiful here. Good morning. <sighs> Sergey, keep going. You're doing great. Good morning, Lena. You look great. I wish I could say the same about myself. Thank you. But you're wrong. You look like Superman if we compare to how you were just a few weeks ago. It's all very relative. I'm telling you, soon you'll be jumping around and dancing. Let me give you a massage for now. Thank you, but no. Obviously, it's none of my business. But I don't understand why you're torturing yourself. You should really live in the present. Appreciate what is around you. I don't understand, is all this pain, cheating, and betrayal, is it all really worth coming back to in the end, Sergei? I don't believe she betrayed me. But it's so obvious. Not to me. I'm not talking about this, so let's drop it. If you need me, just call. I believe it was here. See? They were clearing the way here. Oof. Oof. 
Could you... Could you please just wait for me in the car? I'll be back in a bit. What? What do you mean? It's so... Who knows? It's all debris just Leave rocks everywhere. Leave me alone. Sergey. Sergey. Where are you, sweetheart? Sergey. <laughs> Look, someone even tried to draw a heart. <gasps> what is it? My baby took the hospital. The hospital? Mm -hmm. What did I get into? So, what was all the fuss about? Ugh, don't ask. We got a nuthouse patient, brain dead, a total idiot, went mountain climbing nine months pregnant. Nonsense. A journalist, my ass. Well, contraction started. Pregnant? She was climbing? I'm telling you, she's nuts, not pregnant. <laughs> she's nuts. Oh. Here, look what ring she had on her. A nice ring. It says Sergey, you see? How cute. I like it. Is that her passport? The passport, the phone, the bag, it's all hers. Arena Sergeyevna Zolotova. Yep. Arena Sergey. Okay, issued. Give it to me. Let's see here. Date of birth. Okay. Uh -huh. What are you doing? Going home? No, I think I'll stick around for a little longer. Huh? Palavanova, what do you mean, huh? What if you guys need more help? After all, it's a complicated case. Massive blood loss. Heart rate is slowing down. I say, keep going. Scalpel. going? I just felt a sudden surge of energy. I thought I heard a baby cry. Who was it, a boy or a girl? A boy was born. My congratulations to the parents. What congratulations? His mother is barely holding on. She's lost a lot of blood and she's blood type O negative and we don't have any blood here in the hospital. We call the regional hospital, but it may be too late. I have blood type O negative. I can give blood. I've done it before. Well, just look at yourself. You're barely standing up. But I feel much better now. My tests are normal. You can even ask the doctor. Well, okay, I'll ask. <laughs> Sergey? I just wanted to say... I understand why you want to give blood, but it may cost you too much. It's a big risk. It doesn't matter to me. Not when I know I can save the life of someone else. Even someone I've never met. The stitch is fine, the tests are adequate, the baby is also okay. He's in the isolation ward. Is he all right? He is absolutely fine. I think that Violetta will be coming to pick you up. Yes. She visited me yesterday. Powerful woman. If we had a woman like this in our administration, we'd be the best in the region. Yes. Here. I've prepared some recommendations for you. Uh, how to treat the stitches and prescriptions for medicine, just in case. I'll put it on the nightstand. Thank you for everything, doctor. <sighs> Unfortunately, it wasn't all up to me. Now, if we hadn't found the blood in time, I don't know what would have happened. Excuse me, nurse. I'm looking for a man. He donated blood for me. <laughs> Yes, yes, he was here, but he's been released already. He left the hospital, the old man, yeah? Old man? Uh-huh. Vasily Stepanik Ivanov. Ah, uh, well, good. I'm sorry. I'll go then. Miss, 
Have you been discharged yet? Yes. Sergey, what are you waiting for? You're gonna be late for physical therapy. Hurry up, the doctor's waiting. <clears throat> be careful. <clears throat> All right. Well done. Oh, so the mother is leaving already? Well, yes. Are there your suitcases out there? Yeah, someone's here for me. Well, what are you going to call your son? Sergey, like his father. Oh, as if in honor of your savior. What? Well, Sergey, your donor. Oh, where is he now? In our trauma care unit, Ward 8. Ward 8? Where is Ward 8? Over there. Thank you. Uh huh. Well, where is she? The lights are already out in the ward. Well, what are you going to do? I hope she's okay. Arena, where were you, dear? Congratulations. Here, ma'am. Thank you. Take the baby. Uh, all the Goodbye. best to you. Yes, Bye -bye. yes. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. He's a little Hercules. Oh, Sergey. Hey, Zoya. Did the girl you donated blood for find you? What girl? What are you talking about? The new mom. She's there being discharged right now. She didn't come. Arena? Arena? Arena! Enough. That, that's it. You're, you're here, you're there, the baby needs rest. Now, it's time to go home. Violetta, wait, can you please hold the baby? What? What happened? Did you lose something? Sergey. Arena! Thank <laughs> you.